Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Adrian the Barber, and I'm back to give you guys a quick update on what I've been doing the last three, four months since I haven't been posting to YouTube. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you'll see that I was actually in the process of moving uh, from Minnesota down to Dallas, and that's where I'm at now in my new shop down in Dallas. That's what I've been doing, putting the shop together, um, just kind of trying to you know sort everything out. Uh, there's a lot that comes with opening a new shop, and so I kind of just took a break from YouTube and you know focus on getting this open now that i got it open actually yesterday october 1st was opening day um now i can get back to my youtube and focus on you know giving you guys some great content again uh, i got ten more videos coming out starting this week i'll be releasing uh, more haircut tutorials as well as man weave tutorials um, again i'm always looking for models for haircuts and man weaves i guess the man weaves is probably a little bit harder to find models for when it comes to um, shooting tutorials and so if anybody out there wants to be a future model and a uh, Hair, um, hair replacement video, uh, feel free to message me. Uh, probably best message me over on Instagram or on my Facebook page. Both of those are at Adrian the Barber, and I'll link them down in the description below as well as wherever it is up here for my Instagram name. So go ahead and check me out. Follow me on Instagram. Message me on there if you're interested in becoming a model. But back to the shop. I opened a new shop. I put 11 chairs in, as well as a private room where I do my uh, man weave, hair replacements, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, just to give my clients a little bit more privacy and it's a little bit more professional um, you know, on my part to not be doing those out in the public because it is something that, that can really be embarrassing for some people. And so a uh, big focus in the shop is you know, keeping the privacy for the people that want to come in and get the man weaves installed and uh, you know, just continue to do more of those. And so there was some business that I lost when I was in Minnesota because I didn't have a private room. Um, I was just kind of doing them out in the open. And so that's something that I wanted to kind of you know, not have to run into here again in the future. And I had this extra space to do it, so I put one in. Um, again, I'm in a pretty good location. Like I said, 11 chairs. Um, yeah, that's all there really is to it. I guess the one question everybody's gonna ask is why did you leave Minnesota to come to Dallas? And, uh, you know, you guys know I love being a barber. I love the industry. Um, and my biggest thing was continuing to be able to grow and expand my business and, you know, to grow my personal brand. And I just felt like I need to get myself into a bigger market, to a bigger city that would help me accomplish some of the goals that I got set out for myself in the barbering industry. And so that's kind of the uh, main reasons why I moved down here to Texas. But, I mean, I just love it down here. I love Whataburger. But besides that, let's go ahead and get into the tour of the barbershop. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour of the area and then take you into the shop. Um, right here on Beltline Road in Dallas. In a pretty busy location, lots of businesses, lots of restaurants, um, tons of foot traffic, tons of cars just driving by. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good area so far. Just opened up yesterday, October 1st. Um, I'm right next door to a salon. There's a golf shop, a massage place. You don't know what they're doing there, ew. Um, yeah, there's a Cairo sport place down there where a lot of the Mavs and the Cowboys and stuff like that go. Um, comedy club, family band, all different types of stuff. So here's the shop right here. I'm going to go ahead, walk you guys in, show you around, uh, show you what's up with the new shop. Man, so there's the address to the new shop, 4950 Beltline Road, Suite 170, Dallas, Texas. For anybody that's local or if anybody wants to travel and come see your boy. Uh, so right when you walk in, let me lighten this up a little bit. Uh, to the left, got my Kareem Hunt up there. Actually about to change that out with a Tyreek Hill. Um, now I got my Tyreek Hill signed Chiefs helmet. You guys know I'm a diehard Chiefs fan, so I had to represent my boys. We are going to win the Super Bowl this year. Anybody got some bets, hit me up. I'm, I'm taking all betters. Um, right here, my waiting seating hasn't came in yet, but this is where the waiting is going to be. I'm just doing two black benches. Um, black like black leather benches right here going all the way down. That's all the waiting is And then over here to the right when you walk in I got my price board And then next to the price board I got a TV instead of doing like haircut posters like a lot of other shops do um, I put like, all my work small clips of videos um, All different types of stuff just on this TV so that way when new clients come in they can uh, like when I hire new barbers they'll be able to see the haircut picture and you know, it'll have the barber's name on it so then when new clients come in they can actually check out you know who did what work um, without having to guess so yeah that's what this tv is before and afters small video clips uh just fresh cuts so look check out that boy oreo mm-hmm yeah so 
That's what that is. Pretty dope idea. I like it. Uh, in this shop, I put 11 chairs. My last shop, I had eight up in Minnesota. But since there's more barbers down here, more opportunity, you know, I had to put more chairs. So, yeah, 11 chairs. I got the Jumbotron TV display, um, the basketball court. Representing the Mavs right now, as you can see. Yeah. And then right over here to the right, third station down, is a mine right here. So, man. I don't have everything set up yet, but uh, here in the next few days, I plan on getting my box out, getting everything set up the best as, the best as I can. I got to get those cords taken care of because uh, that's already starting to become a pain. Um, got some just promotional cars. We're doing like a little $5 off haircut right now. Since you just opened up, just to get some new heads in the door. Can't really see it right now. Just got the shop address on it. Shop phone number 469-372-1180. And then got three more chairs I'm waiting for to get in. Should, should be here any day, hopefully. Shampoo bowls. Right back here to the right. Just the restroom. Now, don't judge me on this restroom. It's a mess right now. They're getting ready to tear some walls out and, and put a new drain in. So that's why I haven't done anything with it. But here in the next week or so, it will be getting a complete makeover, brand new floor, um, freshly painted walls. Uh, a lot of these walls are going to be new, new sheetrock. So this bathroom is going to be way different than what it is right now. It looks like a dirty gas station bathroom right now. I feel like you had a 7-Eleven in there. Right here, I installed a private room for a lot of my hair replacement clients. And clients that just want privacy, just in general. So if you guys um, want hair replacements or whatever, you wanna to come to a shop where you got some privacy, that's what this back room is for. Um, not totally finished setting it up yet. Still got a few more things left to do. Gotta finish some painting. See that trim work ain't done. Um, get a station, mirror, all different types of stuff in here. So, yeah, but no, it's just a nice little add-on. A little bit more professional to do the hair replacements in, in, a, in a private area rather than uh, embarrassing people and having them done out in the front. So, that's the private room. Just in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> you know, I get that question a lot. Do I have to sit out and get my hair done in front of all the other barbers and clients? Or do you have a private room? I used to not have a private room. I used to do them like right out in the open, just like this. That's where I used to do my hair replacements. But now, got the room for you. So, yeah, that's all it is. It's pretty simple. You know, I went with a more open layout in this shop. And that's all it is to it. Also, hiring barbers. So if anybody is from Dallas or the area or moving down to Dallas, um, you're looking for a shop, hit your boy up. Also, follow me on Instagram. You guys know I get back to uh, Instagram messages a lot more than I do like my Facebook page. But I am starting to use my Facebook page a little bit more. This back room right here, this is nothing. This is literally a mess. Right now, it's just storing tools, ladders, all different types of stuff like that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to it to get it straightened out. I don't even know what this room is going to be yet. I thought about making like a personal office for myself. And then at the same time, I thought about making it like a back room for the barbers. So you guys let me know what you think I should do with this. Should be a personal office. Should be just like a back room for the barbers. Um, this is going to be like storage and stuff. Nothing too crazy. And then as we go out through the back. In the back of the shop, we got a couple hotels, a residence inn, a holiday inn. Um, yeah, and just, like I said, it's a busy area. There's a lot going on around here. Like in this complex over here, it's just full of restaurants. It's like 20 different places over here. But yeah, it's a pretty dope spot. I'm liking Dallas a lot. I'm glad I made the move down here. So, yeah, if you're in the area, check me out. You guys got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Uh, I'll get back to as many as I can. So, that's it for this video. Hope you guys like the shop. Let me know what you think down below. All right, this has been Adrian. I'm out.